Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Xenosaga Episode 1, Der Vilsermacht. Alright, let's uh, go get some rest. We'll uh, head to the room that has been made available to us. Do, 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 do. Hello! Love destroying things so much in this game. Especially when people are looking at them. I, I don't know, it's... I, I can't resist it. So, red carpet. This is our room. I'm really tired now. I think I'll call it a day. It's best to rest when you're tired. Pushing ourselves too hard is bad for our health. We should turn in for the night. What is this, like the royal weed? Are you queen of the uh, Durandal now, Shion? Don't forget to set an alarm. You don't want to end up like me and sleep for 12 hours. That was terrible. What? That's not an Island 3 colony? I demand more Island 3 colonies. That is a rather interesting looking colony, though. So that's the Kukai Foundation. They sure know how to spend their money. It's just I a space colony. See the Durandal turn into a skyscraper. It's Wait, what? So beautiful. What? what? We're going to dock just like this? This ship's supposedly one of the most famous landmarks in the Foundation. I saw it in a travel guide on the Elsa. Oh, really? I'd never know. I don't check out vacation guides very often. Oh, look! We're docking! All right, that's awfully suggestive. I wonder if those things keep spinning while it's docked. How do they prevent the water from uh, leaking out every time they dock? Alright, that I think would make me feel ill. <laughs> I think that would really make me feel ill. That's also, you gotta wonder how the uh, two artificial gravity planes interact with each other. I suppose it depends on how artificial gravity works in this game. Which, I don't know. Or, this universe, I should say. Wow! wow. New Year's Eve is the best time to visit. The evening metropolis is quite a sight to behold with all her lights. Gainan Kukai, the managing director of the Kukai Foundation. Huh? Huh? Junior? N not quite. What was that? Uh, nothing. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Kukai Foundation. I heard about your situation from Captain Matthews in Chaos. Is everything all right? Oh, uh, yes. Thank you for all your help. That depends on your definition of all right. Enjoy your stay. Why, thank you. What's wrong with me? Acting so rudely towards someone I just met. Uh, I wasn't exactly rude. You weren't you intentionally were rude. I've received word from Yuri Mizrahi of the contact subcommittee. We'll make sure you get to Milsha safely. From mommy? Right. She told me to take good care of you. Can I talk to her? Well, she seemed pretty busy. Oh, I see. Why doesn't mommy ever want to see me? I'll let you know as soon as I hear from her again. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, poor Momo. It can't be. What can't it be? You're not going to tell us, are you? Damn it, just leave us hanging, why don't you? Hmm, high res goodness. That android Cosmos, she's got an incredible amount of potential, you know. There's no way she's just a prototype. Am 
uh, concerned about how she what else could she be? With the emulators. The Hilbert effect. I heard they lost the archetype, but it looks like there's more to this than it seems. And don't forget about her engineer. What was her name? Shion? I think she might be on to us. And our powers. No way. She's just an ordinary human. She might not be as ordinary as you think. I doubt it. She seems normal enough to me. Well, she is a protagonist of a game though. with nothing but non-humans. She's involved in the highest classified part of that project. The same one Helmer's involved in. The Zohar project. Listen. Why don't we lay off the Mizrahi talk for a while? Hmm. Concerned about that Momo girl? Don't look at me like that. You think she likes being called the child of a madman? After all, we were both there when Mizrahi finally met his end. We saw what happened. You know that girl's a realian. Her memory might be imprinted with something. So you're saying the image she holds of Mizrahi is a false one? I don't know. That's why I want you to lay off when you're around her. At least, for now, anyway. If you're that concerned about her, why don't you invite her down to the beach? I'm sure it'll help take her mind off of things. Beach episode! Man, it's always required. You. It's not like that! Maybe we'll get a shower scene eventually, too. Hey. I suppose it could be one or the other. What's this? Ooh, presents. I like presents. Presents are good. Man, it's a stainless steel finished Makalov with the original box and everything. I won it. I think you mispronounced that. Art auction. It was part of their antique weapons collection. This isn't like you. You're up to something. <laughs> Not at all. I just thought I'd reward you for all the hard work you've done for us recently. Have I gone too far? Probably. <laughs> Don't go shooting that thing all over the place. <laughs> Remember, you're older than I am. Try to act like it once in a while. That's right? no fun. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> Kids. E even, even if they're older. It's open. I need a more obvious doorbell sound. It's just a single Chief, beep. Chief, we better get going soon. Yeah. What's wrong? Maybe it's just me, but you've been acting gloomy ever since we boarded this ship. Hmm? No. Really, it's nothing. What? You really think I'm acting like that? Yes. Yep. <laughs> no doubt about it. Hmm. He See, knows you a little like bit too much, too well, oh, Chion. I just have a lot on my mind. I'm sure that's all it is. Are you sure? If something's bothering you, I'd be more than happy to listen. Hey, Chion! Damn it! Let's go out and play! Hmm? I'll wait for you over at the shuttle launch, so hurry, okay? See you there! Play. Mm -hmm. Well, might as well go see what he wants. Well then, I'll be heading to the sh to the launch pad. So, Chief, make sure you co make sure to come too. Of course, I will. What do you expect? What do you think of me, Alan? I, I don't have. Ah, no cosmos. Damn it. The ship itself is about as large as a colony. Oh, yeah, we've, we've read that. I was hoping they might have something new to say. Probably not. Oh, well. I love how they, they programmed it so uh, people look at each other. Uh, what was it? The hangar? I think so. Oh, no. Hangar's the eggs hanger. I wanted the 
dock, didn't I? Because there's a dock on that list. Which, of course, I had to scroll down for. Whoops. There we go. Dock. That's what I want. I'd like to know exactly where this is on the ship. Oh, hey, Cosmos, there you are. Ah, dock 01, there must be more docks. Shion, I will return to the service module on the Al Elsa for my regular data update. Aww. Can, can I go? I can't go this way, can I? Damn it. There's, there's an item down there, I know it. I know there is. I appreciate your invitation, but I need to report our current situation to the committee. It's not a chance you get often. Go on and enjoy yourselves. Aww. Ziggy's not coming either? Well, that's no fun. Well, we could wander around the Elsa, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing of interest here right now. So, I guess we'll go meet everyone else. Thought a little bit about who these two uh, are. Uh, might guess where we're going. Well, actually, they did kind of say what we're, where we're going. But you'll figure out why they're not coming along. Guinan's private beach. It was still under construction last time I was here, so it'll be the first time I actually get to see it. But yes, that we're, we're going to a beach, and, and that's why they're not coming. They don't have swimsuits. Shion, why do you look so down? Let's hurry and get to, get to the beach. I'll show you around. Ah, I wanted to... Damn it, I wanted to talk to Momo and... Aw. Oh, hey, we get uh, Junior, finally. Um, well, he's got 651 skill points. Uh, let's start by extracting some stuff. Uh, what do we want? Uh, well, that's cheap. Let's extract that. That's pretty cheap. Uh, what else is cheap? Because I, I believe it's based on how many things you extract as opposed to, like, how many points you spend or something. I think. But I'm not positive. So don't quote me on it. There we go. Up to level two. Um, what do we want on level two? Anything, like... Cheap on level? Not really. Well, that's about it for now. So we can set some stuff. Um, whatever. P defense, dexterity, and evade. Can we extract anything? Well, we could extract the sniper goggles. Um, and the cobalt ring. Does that get him to level 3? Nope. Damn it. We get you to level 3. That would be a no. Alrighty, uh, let's see. Character. You no. Well, actually, we uh, have some stuff to equip. Um, let's see. So we've got. We start with the. Uh, Do we start with the slow? Power loss, armor failure, physical attack down, physical defense down. Well, let's go with that one. Um, and we picked up. What was it? Battle gear? Yeah. Let's get rid of that survival wear for battle gear. And we'll go with Battle Gear for uh, Momo as well. Alright. Um, 
probably unequip that for now. Uh, let's just go with the space helmet. Well, actually, let's go with something else. Um, just protector for now. Don't need a scope. Go with just a protector for now. Cowboy hat is fine. Doesn't have anything, any skills. All right, let's uh, take a look at his tech attacks. So he's got uh, Prelude to Battle, uh, which is uh, a Lion and Pierce, uh, Lion and Spirit for Moonlit Serenade, and Lion and Pierce for Storm Waltz. Coin Shot Attack. Uh, let's start by getting all of the speeds up, and we'll get the weights up as well. Um, we're not going to be able to do both of these. I think this is a bit more useful. Alright, so we'll need to use some tech points on uh, Junior to get that uh, speed up as well. Um, let's start with uh, Moonlit Serenade there, and Storm Waltz there, and ah, that's fine, whatever. And now let's check out his ethers. Um, so yeah, he starts with uh, Psycho Arm, uh, increases physical attack on self. Uh, ether Flare, uh, increase Ether Effects 25%, and Dandyism, Self, one times only, revive when female character is behind. Not that useful. And like Momo, it looks like he has um, some items that will only be uh, um, unlocked later. Uh, but let's see, what do we get if we evolve, uh, oh, I'm, I don't have enough to evolve that. Well, let's actually um, fix that with uh, a lowest ether upgrade. So that'll get him to 260, so I can evolve, at least see what is available there. So we can get Psycho Pocket, um, which steals items. I think we'll be going for that. Uh, chain, evade down for B and G enemies. Uh, that's one enemy. And Misty, disable B and G enemy spells. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and evolve Psycho Pocket. Pretty handy. So, three of your people can steal, and I imagine that they can't transfer that to anyone else. Those, um, well, Momos definitely can't. Um,. Shion's definitely can't. I don't know about Psycho Pocket. We'll find out later, I guess. Alright, well. That's all done for now. I'll figure out uh, who we want to spend uh, our points on, uh, or what other things we want to spend our points on a little bit later. The Foundation is a fun place with lots of shops and restaurants. I hope you enjoy your stay. I, I want to get down there. I can't. Damn it. Alright. The shuttle is, ex is exclusively for direct flights to the Kukai Foundation. Would you like to go to the Foundation? Yes, I would. Understood. We wish you a pleasant stay. <clears throat> Looks like a very utilitarian shuttle as opposed to uh, having any sort of, like, seats inside. Pretty nice, uh, um... Uh, what, what are you doing out there? What were you doing out there, Alan? Kind of need to have a net to play volleyball. And, of course, Chian is doing homework. Oh, and she gets a flashback. Chian, would you laugh at me if I told you that... Yes? I think she has a heart. Absolutely. Cosmos? Showing emotional behavior? I've run across some interesting phenomena. It's still pretty weak, of course. Almost like a tiny little pulse. Really? We should definitely keep an eye on that. 
Sounds like a bug in the system. Cosmos elemental data structure duplicates that of the human brain. So something like that's certainly not out of the question. Yeah, but if you two guys didn't program that in, where did it come from? She was empathizing with Momo back there. I wonder what her subconscious waves were like. Flatline. Oh well, nothing here at all. I, I think you're just looking at the same data over and over again there. What's the matter, Chief? You didn't come down to the what beach. What the just hell are you wearing, day, Alan? Come on, Shion. Why don't you come and play with us? Sorry. Oh, she. Momo changed out her uh, hair accessories. It must be really tough. Ah, Cosmos. She's got a lot of black box areas that even we can't analyze. But didn't you create her? Box? Yeah. We're painstakingly analyzing her bit by bit so that we can recreate her original form again. The only person who knew everything about Cosmos was Kevin. Uh. Say, Alan, do you think Guinan and Junior are father and son? Something like that. They look a little too far apart in age to be brothers. Well, I've heard rumors here and there. Some say Guinan cloned himself, while others say Junior's his illegitimate son, or... I don't think he's a clone. Their genome arrays are a little too different for that. Wow. You can actually see that, Momo? I'm an observational realian. They're more than just siblings, or father and son. But at the same time, they're not identical either. Is that sort of thing possible? Well, the DNA only has to differ by 0.1% to make them different people. Uh, I think it could be closer to being similar and still be different people. Uh, man, this beach is really great. It doesn't feel artificial at all. It's our latest product. You can even change the weather. You can't have blue skies all the time, right? Sure you can. Wait, what? What are you doing? Oh, Junior Dick move. It was nice before, and now you ruined it. I hate thunder. Huh? What did you say? Shion. Uh, maybe you should turn that off. Oh, a little late there. Thunder! And yet you use a shock blade. <laughs> Well, congratulations, Junior. You really screwed this one up now. Seriously. Now now you're letting it rain. What the hell? Representative Helmer. Busy as always, I see. Well, hello, Negredo. How are things going? Hmm. I don't really care for that name. My apologies. I'm still not accustomed to calling you Guinan. So, hmm. Secret I'll name, huh? We're currently headed your way, and we're carrying an unusual package. So I thought it best to inform you. Oh? We secured it from an unexpected source. That's an elaborate outfit. Cruiser will blend in. It's an emulator. The twelfth one. That matches the UTIC records. Right. There's no question that it's responsible for the planetary disappearance. Assuming they haven't constructed any more, that's all of them. Aside from the original, of course. That's clearly impossible. Now that the only man who can create them is no longer alive. True, Should just say he's dead. And one more thing. We have the Contact Subcommittee's 100 series prototype. Just gathering up all the toys, aren't you? up in your hands. One of our passenger freighters rescued her 76 hours ago. Is the ability to attract that sort of coincidence another one of your special powers? Not a coincidence, but a probability, as a certain acquaintance might say. Anyway, I'm concerned with what the UTIC organization is up to. You may want to step up your precautions. 
I'll see what I can sniff out from the UMN Administration Bureau. We can locate any large-scale gate jumps from there. Excellent idea. Assuming they have no emulators in their possession. The odds are that they'll go after the original sealed on old Milsha. Not to mention... Udu. I don't know what their ultimate that Udu goal that you is. Do? But we can't allow that thing to reawaken again, no matter what. Understood. We'll prepare for your arrival. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. I need to have an episode where I go through the database. I, I've been planning to do that for a while now, and I just haven't done it yet. May have to do it soon, though. Well, I'm going back to the Elsa to check on Cosmos. Are you sure you'll be alright, Chief? Yeah, sorry for losing it earlier. I don't have very good memories of Thunder. Chief? I'm a little tired, so maybe I'll rest at a hotel in City Sector 27. I'll go to the Elsa after I get a little rest. Please take care of Cosmos until then. Alright. Um, Chief? Please don't push yourself too hard. Yes, I know. Do we... we oh, hey, we still have our party. Alright. Party members... There's an email for Xion. Sweet. Nishikigi Flower from Snake Charmer. Huh. Surely you must you must have been surprised upon seeing the sender's name. There are two Snake Charmers, you know. One is my older brother, whom you and Vector's security agency worked so painstakingly to get catch. And there's another one. Lev Vandervost's clone and younger sister, Rev. Oh, whoops. Now let's switch uh, voices there. And there's another one. Lev Vandervorst's clone and younger sister. Raz Vandervorst. See? See? You can make clones in this world without, uh, um... Uh, it, well, changing their, uh, genetic structure. That's me. Lev died, you know. I can feel it. He killed himself by setting his internal nanomachine into motion. How could you? You killed Lev, didn't you? You did, and it's all your fault. If that damn NJ Ropa hadn't stuck his head where it didn't belong... Lev would still be alive today. Who the hell do you think you are, anyway? I'm sure you were happy when you'd heard Lev got arrested, weren't you? I'd like to wrap my hands around your little neck and then tighten my grip at another notch. Shion Uzuki, you murdered the person I love most. What are you going to- what are you doing just standing there? Come on, try and catch me this time. Otherwise, you will never be able to recoup what you are about to lose. If you understand, read the following passage carefully. All the colonized planets, colonies, and large- large spaceships falling under the Federation government's jurisdiction have nanomachine maintenance stations set up for their biofiltration systems. You are aware of this, aren't you? All of the nanomachines have a program installed in them with the same effects as the deadly virus. If I send a specific signal, the deadly nanomachines will be released simultaneously from the release slot of every maintenance station. The nanomachine will spread through the air, circulating in the atmosphere and ventilation systems, infecting environmental bugs and people at an astounding rate. In terms of time, almost all, all the citizens of the Federation will be infected within two hours of release. You will not be an exception either. This will affect Reallians as well. Within 12 hours in, of infection, there is a 100% probability of death due to massive increases in cerebrospinal fluid. Let me forewarn you that the nano-assembler used for analysis won't work. You'll need to think fast. Do you understand exactly what all this means? It means that the Federation government is taking the lives of every single citizen hostage. Now, have you been able to get the grasp of your own predicament? You have, haven't you? Well then, let's see if you can solve one of my riddles. I don't think you are in any position to say no. If you can solve the riddle correctly, the programs in the nanomachines will be deleted. That, I will promise you. For now, I'll throw you some hints. Figure out what the hints mean and choose the correct answer from among three choices. You've been to all three locations before. I didn't want to make it too easy, so I encoded the words. Figure out how to disarm the code on your own. It would be helpful if you had a code disarm plugin. Task. Select one of the three proposed locations from the hints given below. Hint. There is a bridge. There is a fountain. There is a casino. There are, an envi there are environmental bugs floating around in a dimly lit area. There are no prison cells. Possible answers. A Utic battleship. Durandal. Pleroma. So I think if we didn't have the, uh, um, uh, if we didn't have the, um, code disarm key plugin, the first one, uh, I think all of the, um, blue, well, 
Actually, I'm not sure. Uh, some of those words would be um, uh, hidden from view, so to speak. They'd be encoded. And I think with the... And I'm not sure if it's the blue ones or the white ones. And then um, the yellow ones... Well, one of the other group is... Uh, uh, hidden, would be hidden from view um, without the second, the the supplemental uh, disarm key, code disarm key plugin that we got. Um, so obviously when we can see them all, there's a bridge, you know, that could be anything. Uh, there's a casino, uh, I'm actually not sure if there are any casinos, which is one of the reasons why I, I, I kind of think that the white ones have to be um, hidden. Because bridge and casino would basically immediately uh, um, tell you that it's uh, the Durandal. Uh, there's a fountain that's on the Durandal. Um, environmental bugs floating around in a dimly lit area. That's the park. There are no prison cells. Um, since we see that, we know that it's not the pl uh, Pleroma ship. Um, I suppose with the fountain, uh, it could be the Utic battleship. I don't know about the Pleroma. Please reply by email immediately. There's no time to waste thinking about it. If you answer correctly, I'll give myself up to the Federation police without a fight. I promise. But if you are wrong, you understand the consequences, right? Everything, including all of mankind, will be wiped out from existence. And lastly, don't go contacting Vector NSS because we're monitoring you. So, let's see. Um, yeah, my thing doesn't tell uh, what would be hidden by uh, the two different uh, code disarm keys, but um, wait, I, I don't have an option to reply? Oh. I guess it's gonna we're gonna have a little conversation with our AI. What the heck? I would have never guessed that the cl that clone had a younger sister. She's more corrupt now than when her older brother was captured. I can't believe she would use the, the deadly nanomachine against us. Besides that, did Lev Vandervoort really kill himself? Could Raz be mistaken? No, it seems to be true. All the newsporters were saying Snake Charmer killed himself. Since this has happened, I guess the only way I will figure out his location is by solving Raz's quiz. That seems like the only way since it's not possible to contact Vector NSS either. Alright, now we can reply. So we could say, uh, let's see, is it the exact same? Yeah. Raz Vandervorst, you are located on the Durandal. I beg you not to do anything as horrific as spreading the deadly nanomachine. If you believe that I am the one responsible for killing Lev, please just seek revenge on me. Alright, let's go ahead and send that email. Sent reply. Well, I guess we'll find out later what, uh... What things are different. So, this is the, uh... The beach. We can't get up on the dock there. Can't go surfing. Fish! Fishies! Gimme! Give Gimme! Give Come back here, fish! I want you. I don't think we can catch fish. And we can't go deeper into the water, either. Not sure if there's anything else here on the beach. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Nope. Yeah, no, nothing else, uh... Oh, hey, Ziggy. Oh, Ziggy! Is there something wrong? No, I just came to see how you were doing. Sure, that's what you say, but the real reason you why you came here is because you wanted to play, right? Are you alright? You don't look well. Oh, it's nothing, really. I'm completely fine. Okay, if you say so, but it's better not to push yourself too much. Yes, I know. All right, so uh, now Ziggy is in our party and in reserve. I don't think there's anything else to do here. Well, this kind of uh, map should look a little uh, familiar for uh, Xenogears uh, fans. We've got our uh, main routes. We can go to the uh, um, uh, port for uh, the Durandal. Uh, we can go here, which we don't know what that is yet. It, it 
kind of figured it would pop up saying what it was. Or we can go here. Um, I think we can actually go back to the uh, um, dock colony, so I think I might want to do that first. I think they have some new items. Let's go ahead and enter the, uh, uh, the dock area. This port is exclusively for departures and arrivals of shuttles be between the Durandal and the Foundation. Hey, kid. Beyond the launch of the <clears throat> beyond the launch is the Durandal. It's like a fairy tale castle, isn't it wonderful? Uh, it looks a little bit more like a skyscraper to me, but okay, whatever you say, crazy girl. Oh, I didn't know you could go between these seats. <clears throat> I came here from se second Milsha as a maintenance engineer for the environmental bug when the foundation was being built. Even after the construction was over, I remained on the foundation. This is a great place, and everybody here, everyone here enjoys life. Ah, need something to drink. All right, that's uh, you say the same thing. Okay, all right. Before coming here, both she and I were shunned by society. I can understand they felt threatened by people with special powers. But we never had any intentions to use our powers against them. Uh, what kind of special powers are you talking about? The Life Recycling Act gave rise to many people with abnormal powers. These people became the target of persecution and discrimination because their abilities, outer appearances, and air about them was, were a little different. Normal people were probably afraid of the possibility that they could eventually be ruled by these people. Oh, so you're like, um, new species kind of thing, huh? I remember that show. A law that was created... To make people happier ended up making people suffer. After the Species Preservation Act was instituted, those types of instances stopped happening on the surface, but the situation hasn't really changed. I was looking for, for the place I, where I fit in. Oops. I, she said something about everything has changed since she came here. I think Reallian, Reallians are treated the same. Perhaps the Reallians feel the same way. Well, perhaps. Hello? Those of you taking the shuttle to the Durandal, please board the vessel. That's... Alright, now I'm getting some odd slow down. It's weird. And I'll have to check to see if there's anything running. Yeah, we'll go to the Durandal. Alright, that's weird. What What is going on, game? Whee! Well, it's about time to end the episode anyway, so I'll take a look. See if there's something hogging up my CPU or something like that. Alrighty, back on the Durandal. In the next episode, we're going to hop over to the uh, dock colony and see if there's uh, any anything new for sale um, at the shops. See you then, everyone.